take a look at this. Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Don't be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer, and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Do you notice that verse? Start thanking God for your request. Your request hasn't even been answered yet. Start thanking Him for it when you give it. Does that mean that you're going to get what you're asking for? No, it means you're going to get God's answer. Start thanking Him for that. Thank Him for the shut door. Thank Him for the open door. Thank Him for the opportunities. Thank Him for the difficulties. Thessalonians says, in everything give thanks to God, for this is the will of God. That means even the bad things. That means even the things that go wrong. Even when your life seems to fall apart, thank Him. Thank Him that He is in control and He can bring it all into focus to accomplish what He wants to accomplish. Let your requests be made known and give them with thanksgiving to God. Verse 7 says, and the peace, and you can almost put, and then the peace. The peace of God, which transcends all understanding. You're not going to understand it all. But the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. You see, you may not understand what God's will is or what he's up to, but you can have peace. Pray for peace. Discover peace. Let God bring peace into your life. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is bright, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Put your focus on those things. And every one of those words is a description of the Lord Jesus Christ. Think about these things. <laughs> whatever you have learned, whatever you have received, all of those experiences in your life, those difficulties in your life, those challenges in your life, those conflicts in your life, those times when everything seems to be falling apart, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, Put it into practice. All of those things that you've learned about applying these things, these principles in your life, take them and begin applying them in your life. And the God of peace will be with you. Verse 9 is a promise. That when you take the word of God and you apply it in your life, those things that you've learned, those things that you've heard, those things that you've studied, when you take all those things and you put them in your life, the promise is, that the God of peace will be with you.